The UN Special Envoy for Syria, Stefan de Mistura, says the conflict there is getting worse. He's called for urgent humanitarian access to Aleppo and other besieged towns. One of them, Daraya, surrendered to the regime after four years of bombardment and starvation. But de Mistura says he's hopeful that negotiations between the US and Russia would result in a ceasefire. The discussions, and you are aware of it, in this building, while we are talking and while we are meeting, uh, are ongoing at the very senior military, in security and the diplomatic level between uh, the Russian Federation officers at the very senior level and American officers and representatives. They are taking place since yesterday and they are ongoing until probably uh, Friday or Saturday morning. Special Advisor Jan Eglin says the UN aid isn't reaching the people in need. There are many trucks moving every single day to the areas where we have access. 590 trucks cross border, 590 trucks cross border in the course of August. Um, even more uh, uh, through the operation uh, in the areas that can be reached uh, from Damascus and other areas inside Syria. But we're prevented from going to most of the besieged areas, and it is heartbreaking. Uh, and no place was more heartbreaking than the fate of the people of Daraya that gave up in this last week after four years of being besieged and only having reached, uh, been reached with one single convoy uh, in spite of the, uh, the, the weekly requests by UN and other partners for four years.